More cutscenes. <sighs> I'm sorry. Did I wrap it too tightly? It's fine. I'm fine. See? I can swing it like this and it doesn't even... I knew it. Thanks. I feel much better now. I'm sure that's me as Poultice doing its job. Thanks. Pyra, you're hurt too. Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Hey, let me help. Thank you, Rex. No worries. Least I can do. There, all done. How's that? Hmm. Looks good. Um, Rex? Look, they're the same. Oh. Uh, yeah. I guess they are. <laughs> I thought it was storming outside. So beautiful. Yeah. It really is. I guess that's probably because you made it, Pyra. No. Huh? Um, no. Well, I didn't mean it like that. You're just, um, really good at making fires, that's all. It's what I do. So do I get to find a water blade and hook up with her too, or what? It's been so long, my, my, the game went, uh, whatever you call it. <clears throat> Alright. I think we can bring everything back now. Oh, wait. Nope. Just kidding. Bye. Welcome home, Jin. Hey, Akos. I hear the Aegis awaken. Nasty shock for you? Or was it? Of course, my script showed how everything would play out from the start. Sure, you say that once it's all over and done with. It's easy to act smug when hindsight's on your side. Shut your mouth, Abrona. I'm shaking to my core. Where are the other two? Mikhail's inspecting the Ardanian factory. And my beloved sister is out hunting, as always. I'm sure she'll have found plenty of drivers to chew up and spit out by now. She likes to hunt, all right. Not sure we can use all of those core crystals, though. Do we know where the Aegis is right now? Have no fear, Jin. Of course we know her whereabouts. Abrona, 
Yeah, yeah. Hmm. It seems they're currently traveling away from the urban area of Gormont. Leaving the town? But there's nothing out that way. Perhaps they're on their way out of Gormont itself. Oh, and... What? It seems a certain shipment has set out. The core crystals heading to Indol for cleansing, huh? How pious of them. Shall we handle them? I can deal with that myself. You concentrate on the Aegis. Understood. Well, I am looking forward to clapping eyes on the Aegis. By the way, what of Nia? You know where she is? Yes. Look, this dot here. Without a doubt, this is Dromark's wavelength. It seems they're traveling together with the Aegis. With the Aegis? Huh. Do as you see fit. Understood. You don't need to ask me twice. Right then. We're gonna take the Monoceros. As you wish. Hey. Don't do anything too reckless. Is that a cloud sea compass a must-have for salvagers it's sort of a map of the cloud sea if you do this and this what's the date today um a map october 5th 4058 okay so now we put the date in see oh this is very clever looks like gormot is the closest country to the World Tree right now? All we need is a ship. The army has every ship in town in its grip. <sighs> We're kind of stuck. Seems that way. Sorry, I'm no use now. I know, I know. But I'm all out of ideas. Rex Rex needs ship? <gasps> Tora, I have good idea! You do? There is shipbuilder living at Gormok Titan's Bum Bum. Old friend of Tora's Grampy Pon. He called Umon. Maybe he help if we tell him what's what. Sure, it's worth a shot. Let's get going. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. Well. Uh, hey, Tor, the place where this Uman guy lives isn't affected by the Cloud Sea Tides, is it? Hmm, why Rex Rex ask? Well, I noticed the Cloud Sea's been pretty low ever since we went off to save Nia. It's still low now, right? I was worrying that depending on the situation, we might be forced to find a different route. Rex has a point. The Cloud Sea Tides uh, can have a marked effect on areas you were able to tra traverse. They talked about that earlier. Sometimes the Cloud Sea may allow you to swim to one place. Two places that were once out of reach. Uh, but equally, it can submerge previously reachable areas, halting your progress. Exactly. So I was wondering whether we need to worry about any of that where we are going now. But it is no problem. Path to Shipyard of Umon not affected by Cloud Sea at all. That's good to know. If it was somewhere we could only reach at high tide we'd have to rest up somewhere until the clouds rise that doesn't sound so bad to me frankly I'd welcome a well-earned rest at the end while we wait for the tide to change no offense Rex but your helmet isn't always the most comfortable abode yes yes you can always have a stretch and lie down next time we visit the inn at Torgoth for now though we go to shipyard of Uman You now have the option to take long rests at... Oh, there's another tutorial. I'm just picking with, picking with you, Green. Uh, you now have the option to take long rests at lodging facilities. This lets you rest until the tides of Cloud Sea have shifted. 
Um, if you ever find your way is blocked due to the shifting tides of the cloud sea, then just go back and have a long rest, whether you're tired or not. Since the tides of the cloud sea change every time you have a long rest, it's wise to check the cloud sea status in the environmental information display first. Uh, oh, and you should bear in mind that it's not it's not possible to take a long rest at every single lodging facility in all rest, but you certainly can in the one at, in Torgoth, which is just as well because Torgoth is quite sensitive to the comings and goings of the cloud sea. Head through Great, Great Spine Boundary to Umman Shipyard near the area, near the rear area of Gormont. Uh, can I just like fast travel somewhere? Uh, do you have lunch, Leo? Uh, I ate breakfast. I don't normally eat breakfast, so uh, let's fight. What do you say? Just so. Don't hit pulled everybody, nice. Okay, time to take you down. Keep eye on me. and puppy are unbeatable teams. Evil and Let's keep this up and we'll win for sure. I'm for sure. Well, this was a mistake, wasn't it? Celebrating. Let us make use of it now. Rush down. Right, I guess I should probably be attacking like the same one. Oh, 
that one up. Cool. Oh no, we pulled another one. Probably hit the right buttons. I'm 
Like we should have leveled up like three or four times during this fight. What would you have me do? Make me do it. Copy will protect that. Easy. 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 Well then. Right. Looking for collection points as we go through too. Yeah, what that was a here? pretty crazy fight with all those guys heals an aching soul. who kept on coming in. All those monkey butts who kept on showing up. Take them. Oh, that's come an elite on, up on. there. Flora heals an aching soul. Well, that's like a oh, dragon dude. I, sh I really probably should be at least taking a few of these fights. Um, otherwise, I'm going to end up being out leveled, I'm sure, at some point. Then you can just move this tiger all over the place. Oh, there he goes. An aching soul. Hey, look what I found. Congratulations. Look what you found. What have we here? <clears throat> All right. Let's see here. Where we is. Hello. 
Umon. Yeah, yeah, cutscene. Who is that? Who is noisy while I do my work? Tora, this big surprise. Long time no see, Uncle Pon. Yes, long time. About one whole year? Yes, about that. You became very big in one year, Tora. Yes, Tora not Little Pon anymore. And Tora have lots of sidekicks. Rex Rex and friends are not Tora's sidekicks. They are real friends, Umon. Rex Rex, meet Uncle Pon Umon. He did great research with Grampy Pon. He is great builder of ships. Hello. Greetings. At your service. I see. Tora's friends. Tora has lots of friends. Very good. Tora has become fine, Biggie Pon. <laughs> well, Tora, did you need Uman's help for something? Well, we wanted to borrow a ship from Uncle Pon Uman. A ship? But there are lots of ships in Toragop. Why hike all the way to Bum Bum to see me? Oh, um... Well... Tora run out of gold, hmm? Uh, yes. Tora spend all the gold on artificial blade. Tora flat broke, like penniless pancake. <laughs> I wanted to go on a little boaty jaunt to a uh, nearby place, but no money to go on boat. I hope Tora can keep track of all these fibs he's telling. There's no other option. We can hardly tell him what happened in Toragoth, can we? Yeah, I guess you're right. So long as we get a boat out of this. Artificial blade, eh? Was this what Tora's Grampy Pon was working on? My name is Poppy. Pleased to meet Uncle Pon. Yes! This it! This pretty mighty! Tora take off to Grumpy Pond indeed! Oh, well, how can I refuse Tora now? Tora may use Uman's ship, but there is problem. What is problem? You see, a ship not quite ready just yet. Not much left to do, but work stop because no building parts. That's the only problem. Correct, but that is big problem. Big like sea or mountain. You mean, all you need is some parts, then you can finish the ship? It just as you say, friend. So if we go and find the parts, then you'll... Of course! I make ship ready, then you borrow! Thank you! Come on, everyone. Let's go! Yay! Let's go find ship ingredients! <laughs> 